looks like you lost another one. And you know, you just answer them. If you don't want to answer them, you can just, you know, just let me know and just skip over the question. Okay. All right. So before we get into all that, y'all go subscribe. His channel name is Moray. Is it Moray? Murray. Murray Made Television, also known as Lance. Y'all go subscribe. He on the road to one one k. Go ahead and get him to one k. So. The first question, of course, going to be about fatherhood because that's initially what the um, interview was going to be about. So, okay. you're a father, right? Of three, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, so, you consider yourself a present father, right? Yeah, I do. What, what would be your definition and what do you consider a present father? A uh, present father is someone that's... Um to me, my definition, uh, someone mm -hmm. that's involved in that kid's life with everything. Um, two of my boys live with me. My oldest, he lives in Houston with his mom. But uh, just because he's that far away from me, um, it doesn't make a difference. I'm still involved in everything. I know everything that he's involved in. I try to make it up there as much as I can to his basketball games. I'm real supportive from a distance. So, right. it's so you're a full-time like, dad. Yeah, it, it's like I'm not okay. even not there. And the one here, um, every day with them, I'm, I'm about to go pick up my son for football practice right now. I do everything with them, and they keep me on my toes. They, uh, you know, um, I sit around the house. They put me on music. We laugh <laughs> together. It's uh, a lot of stuff that they uh, help me with, and I just try to guide them down the right path. You know, I've been there. And um, I know they're going to have little mess-ups, like, but that's why I'm here, to make sure that that little mess-up isn't a big mess-up. Right. So you would say you guys have a pretty strong bond, right? Yeah, a real strong bond. So is there anything, you know, with... Okay, so has being in a relationship ever, you know, prevented you from showing up and being that present father? Never. Never? Because... When I meet a female, um, when I meet a female off top, you know, they're going to want to know about me. The first thing I let them know about me is my kids. Right. So and what would be a deal breaker in a relationship when it comes to, you know, your parenthood? Uh, someone that, if someone is in a relationship with me, uh, they don't have to support my kids like I do, but don't try to interfere with that. I'm not gonna push. I'm not gonna ever push my kids on somebody. Right. You know, uh, it's either you want you want to do it or you don't. I'm not gonna push my kids on somebody. I'm not gonna hold it against them if they don't want to go. You know, and do things. You know, okay. like I do. These are not their kids. They're mine. Uh, okay, so that okay. would be a deal breaker to me. It's just someone who uh, wants me to. I can't put them first. My my job right now is a parent. So each one of my kids have graduated, walked the stage, and off on our own. I'm still on that job. Right. So a deal breaker would be to try to throw me off of that focus. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. Okay, so this question, I know this is a question you already knew you was going to get asked. Everybody probably came here for this question. Um, can you explain the relationship between you and Love by Erica and how you guys, you know, met and that friendship came about because i i seen a previous interview where you said you know you guys were only friends and strictly just friends yeah that's my dog um <laughs> i met erica i met erica back uh was it 2018 it was mm -hmm. 2018 when i met her and it was on twitter i'm i'm never even on twitter i'm i'm barely on it I, the only reason i was on it i just had created a page and I was trying to tap into the YouTube world. So on my uh, bio, you know, I put, you know, I was a beginning YouTuber and all of that. And then, um... Kind of just hit you up? I think. Yeah, like, she, she inboxed me asking was I YouTube, and I told her that I was a beginner. And she asked me did I want to make content. And um, I told her I really didn't know what I was doing. 
or whatever, but if she could show me, like, I didn't have anybody to actually show, me, you know, mm-hmm. where to even start. Um, uh, I lived in Houston at the time, and I would always go to the gym. When I went to the gym, I met this guy. And right off top, me and him bumped heads. And um, we were playing basketball, and I, I, I played professionally. So there's certain things you don't do when you're playing basketball, you know, that I wouldn't do. Like, mm-hmm. if someone if someone beat me to a bucket, I'm not going to intentionally foul him, you know, possibly hurt him, you know, because I wouldn't oh, yeah. want to do that to me. My body is how I make my money. The person was Chris Sales, you know, and I what? had ran into him in there. Don't do he my boy there. Chris like that now. Nah. He's <laughs> cool now, but that, that um, day? That's a little childish that day, now. That day right there when I walked in, it, it was me and my homeboy. And the gym was kind of empty. And I seen him. And I'm like, yo, hey, you trying to run? And he was like, yeah, but I already got my five. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Like, shit, I can pick up three. So we start. We started hooping and right right off the bat, like I, I I was a professional basketball player, so I already know I'm finna work I'm finna work out whoever in front of me. Mm-hmm. He was in front of me, and then after like a couple of buckets, I'm, I'm thinking like, man, this dude foul hard as hell. Like it's not, it, it didn't seem like he was doing it on purpose, but I'm like, but he is doing it. <laughs> and then uh, like we we beat them like the first three games. The guy that was with him was the dude who was doing a lot of talking and he was really irritating me and my homeboy. So after like seven games, they ain't won a game yet. Now it's turning into when when they foul, now I'm thinking that they're doing it on purpose. And then he did something, I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but I ended up landing, I landed wrong and I almost broke my leg. I, I, I actually sprained my ACL and I didn't know until yeah. like a couple of days later. So when I got up, you know, me and him got into it. And, you know, we were about to fight. And then when I looked around the gym, I just noticed everybody had their phones out. Like, man, I didn't got into it with people in the gym before, and that never happened. So I didn't see him. I didn't see him again until September. That was in February when that happened. I didn't see him again until September after the hurricane did. And the gyms were all free to get in, and he was at another gym. So as soon as I seen him, you know, by that time, I knew who he was. Yeah. You know, I had got on my brother's Facebook. I seen my brother post a video, and I'm like, my brother knows me? And then I started seeing everybody. I'm like, who, who is this dude? Like, man, this dude everywhere. Then I knew, then my kids told me who he was. So this time when I seen him at the gym, he apologized. Like, I was still holding the grudge. But he came up, and, and he, had, he, he shook my hand, and he apologized. And then that just let me know, like, all right, can't be high headed with everybody. Like he didn't mean to do it. He said he didn't mean to do it. So from that point on, he was one of the coolest people that I met. Uh he was also in there with uh Armand, Trey. They were in there. Oh, Perfect Glass was in the there. Cat house. Josh, yeah, Vaughn, they were all in there. So we played basketball almost every night and it got to a point where, you know, I got cool with him. I started going out with him. And then I did a plank with him. I don't know if you remember when Chris got arrested for impersonating a cop, right? Yeah. I was the guy they pulled over in the Jeep that pulled a gun out of him. For real? I yeah, didn't even um I didn't even know that. Yeah, that was me that that was me that had the prop gun, but you know, after or well, it wasn't a prop gun, it was real. You had got in trouble too? No, the the police came to my house and then they took my they took my car away. They took my Jeep. Damn. And because when when Chris shot the video, the license plate wasn't blurred out. And oh, they the found police you. Came to, I, yeah, I was actually out of town. And then, you know, when I got back, there were notes on my door. And I'm thinking, you know, it's nothing, nothing. But then, like, Channel 2 News came. They, like, they left stuff. And then on the way to the gym one day, a detective called me. So they searched my house, and they were looking for the gun. And they ended up taking my car. Um, I never got that back, so I just got another car. And um, but you know, I was still cool. Even Jordan, you know, uh, Jordan uh, Lacey, oh, and yeah. y'all met up at the yeah b- before he even started doing YouTube. We used to meet up in there and who every single night. So that was kind of like a hot spot. And um, Joel, he was in the gym also. I met him. So we all just really met through uh, basketball. 
But yeah, after that video, um, they all got arrested. A lot of shit happened with me. And then um, I met Erica. And then I found out that it was her car that they were in. And then that was her gun that I was holding. And, you know, oh, it was in the that trunk was her and everything. Gun. Yeah, that was her gun. And, I, you know, I don't, I don't think they were supposed to go in the trunk and get it, but they did it. I didn't know that it was her gun until, you know, I, I had been on her for probably a week. And she asked me, had I done YouTube before? And I told her, you know, well, I made one video. And then I told her, and it was just a coincidence. Like, damn, them was the people right. that you was with. But nah, she been showing me, or at, at the time, she was trying to show me how to record and edit and telling me all the equipment I needed and everything. And at the time, it was just too much because my kids were smaller then. They needed more attention from me. I was already gone at night at the gym. So throughout the day when I got out of school, yeah, I was really occupied with them. So I really couldn't, you know, I was getting caught up. Like, I would try to do something and I'd just be like, nah, forget it. And and one then, thing um, about Erica, she's going to try to put you on game with this YouTube shit. Nah, man, she definitely knows what she's doing. She yeah. definitely knows what she's doing. And like I said, she cool with everybody. But it, it, it wasn't even everybody. That dude, the mucka dude that she was with. Yeah, I was about to get into that. I'm glad you were already into it because I was going to get into that. Everything just went messed up when um he started putting my name in his mouth. So what, you know, like, before you get to talk, I'm gonna let you talk. But do you know him? Like, do you know of him? Do you know anything about I've him? I've never met him. No, okay. Um, okay. I can't even say that I know of him. I just remember. Wow. Um, cause me, me and Erica was friends on Instagram, and I just remember one day I was scrolling and I seen her and him. And they were out. They they took pictures, and like I said, I'm cool with her, but I hadn't talked to her in a while. So I'm like, oh, that must be her dude, and that's all that I knew of him. But I'm in the gym one day. I'm in the gym one day, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not even, I haven't even had any YouTube videos up. I'm scrolling through, and then boom, he pop up. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing this, but then it's my picture in his, you know, uh, profile pic on the video. He but put you in the picture? On the thumbnail, yeah. It was, it was a picture of me. And I was, oh, I don't wow. know how he got that picture, because that was the picture of me the night before. It was it was a shirt that I had on. So was somebody was doing some snooping. Somebody had to be. Oh wow! But it was a picture of me in the gym the night before. I had a, a black shirt and it has orange and blue writing on it. I was in there lifting weights, and then the next thing I know, a couple of days later, boom! I'm on a uh, thumbnail picture of uh, him and a baby, or me, me, me and me and a baby. Right. And That's when I first it. seen it. What, yeah, Eric, he was like, what Erica said, that she was messing with this dude. Man, first of all, I know she didn't say that. And, like, second of all, me, me and her ain't never had no conversation like that. It ain't never even been close to anything like that except for, can you tell me how to, you know, do this? Can you tell me how to do that? Yeah, and I seen Ooh, y'all um, even... Q&A thingy, y'all video. I didn't think it was, you know, too, I didn't think it was no flirting on them that going on. It was a normal you know, video. I don't know where people got that, that from because I I had watched that, that video. That was the first day meeting her. Oh, wow. Well. That was the first day that we actually met up. That was the first day that we actually met up. So, I don't, you know, people was just trying to reach on that but video. But you can't do, you can't put nobody name in something. You don't even know a person. And that's what made me, like, all you had to do was your research. You could have hit me up. And you could have asked me anything. I would have told you. But instead of doing that, you you put out this, you know, thing that it was something going on between me Just and Just to make him that, look good. You know, the possible. Yeah. And then the thing is, what I, about him, I don't care what nobody say. You got a YouTube channel, you want to be successful on your YouTube channel. There's an underlining story, like, like with me, yeah, I want to be successful. I, I, my, my channel is called Mary Mag Television because I plan on implementing my entire family in on it. Anybody last name Murray, that yeah, we all on it. My kids, everything. Hopefully Every I can build. Yeah, hopefully I can build and then, you know, who knows where it leads. You, I know you start your channel. You want to get something going off the ground where eventually down the road that you make money. But I'm never going to bash anybody or lie on anybody try and get there because you know it, it'll it'll fall quicker than you yeah. know take off this dude threw me under the bus and he lied 
threw her under the bus and it made up a whole line was going with it and then it just seems like I don't know him and I don't have to know him I read energy off of people like I can meet somebody and tell if I'm gonna like them or not I can tell if they're a good person or not I can tell if they're full of shit or not and looking at him it seems like everything is an act listening to him it seems like <laughs> every nobody like like Jesus ain't that person thank when you baby wants baby kids you know no problems over here like we we don't have to eat for a week and we won't be hungry like like, it's like it's, you're it's, trying it's, to prove like a point this. to yourself because we don't we're not believing that yeah like like man come on everybody <laughs> got problems everybody got problems it's funny everybody and nobody nobody like man i hung around chris now they millionaires they had problems you telling me you don't you don't got no problems. Y'all all per- y'all got, all good over there. I got there. homeboys that's in the NBA. They have problems. You don't. That's and then if, if you don't have problems, like, and this is what I, you know, found out. If you don't have problems, then 10 times out of 10, you are the problem. You're somebody exactly. else's problem, like I said. <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. Like, <laughs> he's gained a lot of followers. I don't want to talk about his followers, but he's gained a lot of followers by lying. And by no, you right. Whatever. Like, don't. And I'm, I'm, I'm the type of dude that always stand on business. Don't play with me. Don't play. Don't play with my kids. So, like I said, the second time he opened his mouth and said something, my my 13 year old came to me, and that's how I found out about the video. So has he like, reached out to you and tried to explain anything or no, whatever? He whatever. did anything, and he don't have to. Like I said, I can tell what type of person he is. He don't have to because I'm not even that type of person play with like this it crazy. won't be no beef it won't be anything it'll be real quick like i said i'm not i'm not gonna play like you brought my <laughs> kids into that it had to be somebody feeding him that information because and he got on here like he was right doing it too like he just knew the situation okay well that make them a jackass too whoever fed it to him whoever fed it to him like i don't even play like that i don't play like that and i'm the type of person that holds grudges like i said me and chris got into it in february I didn't see him again until September. I was still, still had to it <laughs> happen. Now, what happens if I'm in Houston and I'm in the Galleria and I bump into him? Right. He don't even know what type of person I am. But by by him listening to me, yeah, you know what type of person I am. I don't like funny shit. And you funny. You real funny. Yeah, he is. So, that nah, is. I don't, I don't, don't want to meet him. I don't want to clear up anything with him or whatever. It's like, just bottom line. Like, he don't, he don't need to overstep that again. He don't need to never say anything about me, have my name in his mouth ever again, ever again. Okay. Like I said, I think, I think he was just, I think he was butthurt. Like I said, he got, and Erica, a cool person, not saying that anybody else wouldn't be with her for the right reasons, but I think he, he saw an opportunity when he met her and found out what she did and you know she had a platform and he I think used that. He, took that he took that he ran with that and now he's trying to build off of that now that he's no longer with him that's why but how can you build him. off anything if you're not even trying to step up and be a father to that damn baby you're not like you're not yeah. really you're gonna make yourself look bad you fumble in the bag because yeah that's <laughs> that's that's really bo- that's bogus like i said man it was I didn't know. I don't get it. I could never, I could never have a kid out there and not be a part of the kid life. When I was, when I was 18, the chick that I talked to, I got pregnant. I didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't know she was pregnant. She told me, but I thought she was joking. I thought she was playing. And I'm like, man, don't play with me like that. And I hung up. I didn't see her again until a year and a half later. I was in my hometown. I was back home from school. I was in the mall. She walked up on me with a stroller. That's how I found out that I had a baby. He had my entire face on his body. And it wasn't no arguing. It wasn't anything. Like, what do he need? And like I said, and I felt bad for being gone that that long and not believing it when she tried to tell me. So you already Uh, answered my question. That was going to be my next. Like, how would you have handled the situation? Because I see a lot of people... You know, they have he their own saying, assumptions and whatever, whatever. Saying, but from oh, a man's like, oh, perspective. Man, if if a man really wants something, he's going to go get it. He, he makes sure he got content every day about it. He, he <laughs> making sure to get them likes and them subscribers every single day about it. Go find your son. Like I said, if he's not your son, 
then okay, you then you know that's a slap in everybody else's face. But if it was you clean, but how can you go on and that's a small possibility or it's a big possibility that this might be your son? But like you said though, Lance, like you said, your son has your whole face. That little boy has that man's whole face. Man, people keep saying he got my face, and like I said, no. Hold on, the new baby. yeah, they're, they're saying that this baby has my face. Like, they, they have a picture what? of being a little boy. I thought it was they about, I thought it was her second child, her second son, that they said were look, uh, well, whatever, said was looking like you. I don't whoever. know, man. I don't know. Whatever baby it is, like, no, it's not my That's baby. That's wild. My they just putting babies on people. My, my kids have my entire face. My kids gonna be with me. If, 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 if it's my kid, people gonna know because that, that kid is gonna be with me. That kid is gonna be with me all the time. If it's my step kid, he's gonna be with me all the time. <laughs> I don't get it. People just be putting kids on people. And it's yeah. your child. That's sad. It's for clout. It's for it's for likes. It's for subscribers. It's to make drama to keep that little ball rolling. But you know that ball can only roll so far. People gonna get tired of hearing that. It's gonna it's gonna die out. Then what? Then what? What do you? Got? Eventually, people's gonna question. You know what have you done for the baby? Where is the baby? And you, your answer gonna be the same. So I just, yeah, like I said, I don't understand that whole situation. I'm glad that you cleared that up because I have the stuff you just said. I didn't even know. Um, I didn't know that dude had dropped a video claiming that you were in the picture. I did see that. Um, as far as the thumbnail making and stuff like that, I didn't even see that he had put you in his thumbnail. He took that down yeah. real quick then. Yeah, and then it was another it was it was it was another I don't I don't, I don't even want to say a thing because I don't even want oh, I know no subscribers to go. <laughs> yeah, but then you know, they like post and stuff again of me of that baby old off the old video, the question uh the question that video of me and Erica just reaching and I'm like, like y'all don't have facts. On anything, if facts was money, y'all would be broke. So it's still like they, they're still doing it. I don't know if they still doing it or not, but I, I remember it was for like two days straight. They just it's crazy. Like they was on me, and like I said, I'm not like I'm like man, y'all some clowns for posting this. Like ain't none of this even real. Again, all of them fake pages. I'm like bro, and people be believing YouTuber, it. Yeah, you had the YouTube account for for 12 months and you got no videos and two subscribers <laughs> you. like I said this like all of this all of these pages is probably the same person commenting on her page like man that's that's a mental person whatever but it was the same thing and they were getting their feelings like like they brought up oh this this channel has more subscribers than you and I'm like oh by t- tonight you won't and they were like oh that, that's all you care about I didn't bring that up you did so it shows who cares about it. Like, exactly. nah, I'm never going to do anything shady or messed up to gain any likes, to gain any subscribers. Like I said, but whatever you do shady, all that's going to come back to you. I got kids. I don't need anything coming back to me that ain't a blessing. I oh, know that's right. Um, I had asked all my questions. Thank you for answering them. I didn't think you was going to answer all of them. Um, but is there anything you want to say or add to this video? Uh, Nah, not really, nah. It's just, um, again, just, you know, firmly stating that, like, that's that's not my baby. I never touched her. And y'all stop giving him clout. That's, All right. that's making me mad right there. <laughs> well, thank you for um stopping by pulling up. Y'all go subscribe to his channel. The link will be down in the description down below. Get him to 1K by the end of the night. I know y'all can do that. And I appreciate you, um, Moray. I got that right? Murray? Maury. Maury. Like, like Barry, but I was like Murray. Murray. Okay. Maury made television. Appreciate you. It's like hurry. Like hurry. Hurry. Maury. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a bit. Police and pulled several people over are now in trouble with the real police. Officers said they used what looked like an unmarked police car to get people to pull over, and one of those so-called traffic stops went very wrong. Check it out. Dude, oh, yeah, dude, 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 d
Wow, so the driver of the SUV that these men allegedly pulled over pulled a gun out on them, and luckily for them, they were not shot in what looks like it was a prank. 